guys welcome back to our youtube channel and thank you so much for joining the channel today i will not waste a lot of time here i just want to talk about something real quick and today's video what is the thing i want to talk about i'm going i'm going to be talking about not i want to i'm going to be talking about well i want to maybe correct but my english is not the best please take what i want to say and drop anything you think is not valuable and again when you watch this video make sure you do more research okay i just spoke with someone this afternoon and i'm meant to understand that of course i know this a lot of us we do not have the money to immigrate to these big countries where they need maybe eight million six million five million and stuff so today i'm here to talk about this affordable country in europe and this country is equally a member of the schengen zone now i will talk about some of the reasons why you should consider moving to this particular country in europe this country its name is called slovakia and i will be talking about reasons why you should move to slovakia as an international student but before i talk about these reasons my name is milton welcome to our platform please follow our pages you can see them here follow our pages or follow our platforms let me say so when you are thinking of moving to slovakia there are things you should put into consideration i will talk about them now but again remember after this video you may watch other videos on slovakia i will talk about affordable schools in slovakia you can apply to i will equally talk about some of the maybe documentations you need to apply for the visa now remember the visa you are going to be applying for it's a form of a residence permit called the national d type visa cameroonians nigerians a lot of nationalities in addition to these two you guys are supposed to be going to kenya to apply for the national visa for other visa types you may apply via the vfs global in your home country and this type of visas i'm talking about are a visa which is also an airport transit visa or c visa which is also called a single schengen visa these visa types are not the type you need as an international student so please put all this into consideration it is very important one thing i want to tell you is that slovakia was before together with czech republic but now they decided to move out so czech republic is a country on its own slovakia is a country on its own also remember that in czech republic master students some students let me say masters and phd students they get a form of monthly stipend some things that they give them as stipends every month to cover their accommodation it is also affordable or possible in slovakia now one of the reasons i want to talk about slovakia is because slovakia is one a country with a very low cost of living before i talk about this low cost of living i want to draw your attention to the fact that when you are applying for slovakia visa the national d-type visa is the one you are applying for and this national d-type visa is a form of residence permit that you need to live in slovak republic this particular visa is equally going to permit you to move to the schengen zone to move within the members of the schengen zone and stay for a maximum of 90 days now this visa can also permit you to move to the schengen zone within a period of six months thus if you go to the schengen zone today let's say you are in slovakia and you decide to visit germany you can visit germany today and stay for maybe five days or maximum 90 days then you exit germany and go back to slovakia then you are now going to be in slovakia for six months before you can move again and visit germany i hope you understand does it make sense now the low cost of living in slovakia things like food cost of living like housing if you sum up all these two and um, in slovakia you may be paying 200 euros okay 300 400 depending on your tests what you want but now if you are someone who doesn't like a flashy lifestyle who doesn't look extravagantly you can use maximum 200 euros and you're good to go in slovakia yes it's very possible yes if you cut down your rate if you know where you are coming from and you know where you are going to 200 euros is enough to cover for your food and your rent in slovakia this is fact low cost of living point number two affordable tuition we all know that in countries like united states united kingdom australia canada tuition fee even the neighboring czech republic okay even the neighboring germany and poland tuition fee is very expensive in these countries i just mentioned but in slovakia 
you can have schools for 1,000 euros, 1,005, 2,000 euros, but very affordable tuition in Slovakia. It can even go to an extent when, where you can even have a school for maybe 800 euros. It's possible. So please put this into consideration. Low tuition fee is one of the reasons you should be looking at Slovakia. Of course, if you are looking at a visa to Slovakia, I know you may be asking yourself, why should I go to Germany? Why there is Switzerland embassy in Cameroon? When there is Belgian embassy in Cameroon? Where I can sit at the comfort of my zone and apply for Canada? The problem is, do you have every resource to apply to this particular country? If not, then I think Slovakia should be the best country for you to take. Now, another av advantage for you to study in Slovakia is that you have the possibility to apply for scholarships. Now, in most countries like in the United States, grad school scholarships are available. In some other countries like in Germany, PhD students can study for free and other nationalities. Okay, But what you need to know is that in Slovakia, they have a lot of scholarships for international students. You may get this scholarship, you may not get it. But as an international student, I want to draw your attention to the fact that there are commitment scholarships in Slovakia where you get to pay maybe $35. It depends on how much they are going to be giving you and what was the agreement between the scholarship body and the, the school administrators but most of the time it is uh, based only on academics academic merits okay there is something called the commencement scholarship when you start the program and when you finish the program there is something called a complement scholarship like i said starting and finish the program they are going to be paying you money when you start and when you finish then there is also a monthly stipend okay international students also get a monthly stipend like i explained to you before it's the same thing like if you are studying in the Czech Republic, you are going to be getting a monthly stipend. And this monthly stipend now will help you in covering maybe part of the money you use to pay for your accommodation. It's possible like that. A lot of students are receiving such money. Like I said before, Slovakia is a member of the Schengen zone. So which means if you are in Slovakia, you can always move to any Schengen country like I said. You can live for maximum 90 days in that particular Schengen country and within a period of six months each. Okay, you cannot go today in Germany, stay two days, return to Slovakia. Then maybe after next week, you are moving again to Germany. No, that is not how the laws stipulate. If you are also in Slovakia, which is a member of the Schengen zone, you have the possibility to go for exchange programs abroad. Exchange programs abroad are programs you take one semester off your own campus in another campus that is to say you can if you are in slovakia you can take maybe another program um you can take a semester of that particular program you are doing in another country like maybe poland or germany if and only if this university you are in slovakia has a partnership with that school in germany Okay, so it's more vis-a-vis -vis, uh, partnership agreement, something like that. But just because of the fact that you are a member of the Schengen zone, it is a member of the Schengen zone, or the countries are members of the Schengen zone, you can do this. There was a time I wanted to take an exchange program in, in Belgium, I remember very well the teacher in Belgium I had looked for a teacher and it was already agreed but I later realized that I cannot move from my school school to the school in Belgium and get my degree in Belgium because I was looking for a means to escape from North Cyprus so I just had to drop the program it was like I will go back I will go to Belgium study the program then come back to Cyprus and collect my degree which I later calculated the cost and everything and I turned down the program so you have to put all this into consideration situation with slovakia it's possible to go to any schengen country take an exchange program and move back to slovakia easily also if you are in slovakia you can take um you can go on erasmus programs erasmus programs are also exchange programs like program you take programs you maybe you study in this particular university for one semester you go to the other country you study for one semester you go to another country you study for two semesters and at the end of the day you are going to get a joint degree this is the meaning of erasmus scholarships all right but but with Erasmus programs, it is almost similar. And now, do you know that if you study in Europe with Erasmus programs, um, most companies will be fighting to get you into them? Yeah, that's to tell you how powerful. Because when you take these programs, they are going to indicate them on your transcript and also probably indicate on your 
uh, on your certificate they are very powerful programs especially in the job market okay so you should put all this into consideration and you are not the one covering for the course eh? especially those who are going for erasmus programs you are not the one who is going to cover for your course so please put all this into consideration i also want to draw your attention to the fact that you can move to slovakia with your family during your visa application you can include your family and move with everybody to slovakia do you also know that slovakia children from foreigners that is if your child if you move to slovakia today your child have the right to study in slovakia for free i know a lot of people didn't know and i know a lot of people didn't know that they can move to slovakia with their spouse but this is very possible so please check all of these and note that it is also very possible for you to get part-time jobs in slovakia though the system says that you cannot work in slovakia but of course a lot of international students are working the problem is that you should be legal the problem is that you should have a study permit if you have a study permit there are a lot of things you are going to do okay of course they are not going to write it on the internet but the schools they know all these regulations and they will not limit you yeah they will not limit you so please put all this into consideration the programs i talk about exchange and erasmus programs your school is going to pay for them so you should note this in another video i'm going to talk about universities you can apply for in slovakia then in another one i'm going to talk about proof of funds and if there is any school that is open in slovakia that i know i'm equally going to drop it to you please remember that cost of living in slovakia is very affordable so you should also those of yours who are in europe we should also be eyeing slovakia slovakia because slovakia looks like the real boss here so if this video were helpful guys please do not forget to click down there please click down there and support the movement till we meet again in another video